Alaska in Ketchikan. And now Robert used to be a gold mine called AJ. We are in downtown Stagway. Before we get into British Columbia to come into the solarium. So this is the solarium beast grow. Look at How does he do it? Balance. We're in Victoria, British Columbia. Record it. Here is Canadian Assembly. A copy. Important. We took today before we get into British Columbia to come into the solarium and use the hot tub and everything the ship has to offer. This ship, the solarium, is all enclosed. Um, it does have windows on the side that can open if needed. But this is one of the best solariums that I have actually been on on a, on a royal ship. They have showers you can use. Um, has all kinds of stuff. It has an indoor pool you can come in and use, which is nice, and it's all heated. So they have this. It's kind of, um, and actually there's two hot tubs in here and this little pool. And one of the pools, let me see if I can show you, has these little lounge chair things in it. Let's see. And up there you have the, um, a bar and you also have the Solarium Bistro where you can go in there and grab lunch. And this is an adults only section, which is also nice. They have a regular Solarium and then they have the adults only Solarium because this was used again for an Alaskan ship. So there is also an indoor area. So these are like the little chairs, which are nice that you can lounge on in this little like lounger pool, which is cool. And then there's two more hot tubs over there. So actually there's three hot tubs in here, which is nice. We have like an infinity um, pool over there and you can see through it, which is kind of cool. I don't want to keep filming people, so let's just keep walking. Go back up these steps. It looks like we are close to, I don't know what this is, maybe Vancouver? I'm not sure because we are headed to Crown, or Crown Victoria. <laughs> We're headed to Victoria, which is actually, um, right near Vancouver. And this is what I meant about like retractable windows. See how they open? By the, by the bar they also have these little couch areas that are nice too. You can come up here and sit with friends. So this is the Solarium Bistro. Looking to see what all they have in here for lunch. Some roasted chicken. Some tilapia. Corn on the cob, white sauce, vegetable lasagna, beef stew. And we came over here. We have a little prosciutto area, some salami, cheeses. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Thank you. Later that day. We're in Victoria, British Columbia. Canada. Yes. Our final destination. That's so sad. She's sad, folks. Sad. She's depressed. We'll be back tomorrow. It's well, we won't last. be back. We'll be in Seattle, but still sad. Mm -hmm. So, look around. It's pretty much the port. There's the ship. Not much of a port. We're going to work around, explore a little bit, see what it offers. So instead of booking an excursion or taking a tour, we decided to just uh, hoof around. it. 
Walk around, walk to downtown. A lot of stuff here is closed already for the season. Yeah. So, and we're especially coming in at night, so the, most of the stuff here is open only in the morning time. Especially the Fisherman's Wharf area. Most of the areas there are closed. I mean, we can check it out, but mostly everything's closed out there. So, so considering that we arrived here around 5.30, and we'll have until 9.30, it only gives us four hours. It's a very brief amount of time. Not only that, we only have like an hour of daylight. Sundown. So we're gonna just walk around in the downtown area. Maybe if time permits, check out the Chinatown. And uh, that's it. Get some good food, maybe. Grab a quick bite to eat. And then head back to the ship. Maybe take some nice pics. And that's it. Either way, I mean, we're enjoying this gorgeous view. Let's see if I can portrait around here. Look at this gorgeous little. No clue now. <laughs> look it up. Yeah, go to Google Maps. Of course, probably gets great miles per gallon. I forgot to record it. Here is the Canadian Assembly, and you can see there, like it's. We just got here at seven o'clock their time and it's just enough daylight just to be able to take pictures but soon it's going to be really dark we're planning to just spend the remaining two hours going to the downtown area this direction not sure it's going to have enough time to explore some of the park or gardens in this direction um, but you can, you can tell it's quite a lot of tourists trying to just uh, enjoy the city before they have to go back onto the ship. <laughs> we took a detour in our route here in Victoria for a coffee. It's important. They're kind of like the... It's like Starbucks. Really good. We got a watermelon strawberry lemonade. It's really good. And then we got a donut. We got a uh, maple. maple donut. Oh, we're in Canada. That's what maple's all about, right? So That's let's try it. I'm getting video right now. So, what, what do you thought of the bur the donut? Um, I like it. It's not too rich. It's not very rich at all, but. Um, it's got the maple flavor. You can definitely taste it, but it's not rich. Mm. How about their coffee? Oh, coffee is really good. Taste it. Mm -hmm. Just notice it has a cream inside. Mmm. Is the cream good? Yeah, very good. Let me try. Is it like a custard cream? Yeah. I definitely use real sugar. Yeah. Not any artificial stuff. Now we're back. Woo. Back at the port. And it's cold. It's cold. It's chilly. It's windy. We, we had a race back here. We took a cab. We took a cab back. Yeah, because the time flies. Four hours is not enough to tour Victoria. And everybody kept saying, you have plenty of time there. I like, know. It did not seem like plenty of time here. Heck no. When you get here, make sure that you either take a cab or a bus. To or, downtown. To downtown. Or Fisherman's Ward. Don't try to walk it because you end up burning too much time yeah. walking. That's uh, lessons learned there. But we're back here. And the other thing, too, is it's such a smooth experience to get back in. No need to whip out your passport. Just just your little, your card, your ship card. And that's it. Yeah. That's that was it. it. That was it. No other forms. You didn't no, have to wear a mask anywhere. No mask, no nothing. No whipping out of the vaccine cards, none of that. No arrive can report. That was just a crew interest. Yeah, crew interest. So, that was really quick. quick oh, and, and another and... tip. Since Seattle is very close to um, this port, they don't open the casino um, today. At, it's open in the morning while we're at sea. 
and then once you get to Victoria it's closed so we no longer have the casino either so um, tonight it's closed and we arrive back in Seattle in the morning yeah there you have it so no casino tonight so we gotta figure out what we're gonna do I'm just kidding There's plenty of stuff to, plenty of stuff watch now she's gonna go to bed early now <laughs> I probably will <laughs> all right so anyway tip there you tips go tips from us tips destination tips Woo, my Something eyes are like tearing it's so cold this Florida girl's not used to this yeah a little chilly just a little all right folks see you Ah, I didn't push the button! Ah. Two people.